Steve, really quickly here, there's another line in this book that's, uh, that's sure to get a lot of folks uh, pretty angry. This is, um, again, this is from Michael Wolff's new book, quote, Trump conceived an early obsessive antipathy, antipathy for Deputy Attorney General Sally Yates. She was, he steamed, such an expletive. This is from the president talking about then Deputy Attorney General Sally Yates. How, how are Republicans going to defend uh, ag against that? Well, now with what Bannon has done, which I think reorients the political map, it's going to be very hard uh, for the Republican Party, the, co the conventional leadership in the Republican Party, and others. Do it. We've seen a lot of things, you know, from the Roy Moore stuff, where maybe we're wrong on this. Maybe there's, you know, a capacity among leadership in the GOP just to, to roll over and just say all of this is just, just more of the same. But I really think Steve Bannon's comments change the game because when you be begin looking at that, it's going to, people then begin saying, well, this isn't a conspiracy. What has Donald Trump said? He just took on uh, the deputy attorney general who had warned him uh, about Michael Flynn, Barack Obama had or warned him about Michael Flynn, and that, I wouldn't call that antipathy, that repugnant, um, gross behavior and kind of commentary of the president of the United States versus someone who was celebrated and respected by both sides of the aisle in previous days. That is going to get a lot more scrutiny than it did um, last, the, a week ago. The, the map has now changed, and the, I think the willingness of at least some significant percentage of that 30 percent that has been rock solid behind Donald Trump is going to ha take a, a, a new look at this, and that's going to, I think, be consequential. Steve, David, Seth, thanks to you. Thank um, you. Thank up you. next, more from this, this new bombshell of a book about the Trump campaign uh, administration. Why a fear of being poisoned might be a driving force behind the president's fast food habit. Also, the agreement between Jared and Ivanka about which one of them would be